Hey guitar friends, my name is Robbie Trujillo. Thanks for being here and learning another one with me. I want to help you become a better guitar player. I got some requests to do a lesson on Whiskey Sour by Kane Brown. So that's what I'm going to show you how to play today. I'm going to show you how to do the picking and if you can't quite get the picking yet, I'm also going to show you how to strum it so you can play through the full thing. Make sure you stick around and play through the full song with me at the end and let me know if you were able to pick through the whole thing or if you had to do some of the strumming. But let's get started on this one. We'll play it with the capo on the first fret. The chord positions we'll play here are C. We'll play this B minor with two fingers, fifth string, second fret, second string, third fret. We'll play A minor, D minor, G, and we'll play the F chord. And if you hate bar chords, lucky day here. We're not gonna use the bar. We're just gonna play the fourth, third, second strings. And we're also gonna add the first string down here on the third fret for our F. Let's get this intro learned. Here's how it sounds. So we start on the C chord and we're just walking down C, B minor to the A minor. So we're starting out picking the fifth string and the second string and I'm picking the second string with my third finger, the fifth string I'm picking with the pick. So those get picked together. Then we're going to go four, three, five, two, four. Here on this C chord, actually, you can pick the fifth and the second together, or you can pick the fifth and the first together, which is open. So either way you want to do that. Then we're going to go down to the B minor chord, second and the fifth string together. Same picking pattern, four, three, five, two, four. down to the A minor, same picking pattern, five and two, four, three, five, two, four. So here's the C walking down to the A minor. Then we're going to go to the G chord. We're going to do the same picking pattern, but we're replacing the fifth string with the sixth string. So here we're going to pick the sixth and the second together. Then go four, three, six, two, four. Then we're coming to the F chord. So four, four, three. The third string I'm picking with my second finger. Then four, two, four, one, four. Then we're going four, three, four, two, four to finish that. So here's it straight through. Then we go back to the G chord to finish the intro. So we're going to go six and then three and four. Pick those together. You can either pick them with the pick and your second finger, or you can pick them both with the pick. But the third and fourth strings are both going to be open here. And then we're going to hammer on from the open to the second fret here on the fourth string. And also at the same time while we're doing that, I'm going to hammer on down here on the second string to the first fret. We're not going to play that yet, but we're going to need to be in that position here in a minute. So we're going six, three, and four, hammering on, then six, then two, then six, and then we're picking six, three, two, all together. And now the third and second strings are open. That 
That's how we end the intro. Here's the full thing straight through. Then we go back to the C chord for the verse. And we'll be doing the same picking pattern and chord progression here for the verse. We were two heartbeats away Wedding rings And a pretty ball gown dress At the church off 40 West And we were talking about our future On the steps of your daddy's screamed in if I'd ask you, tell me yes. Well, it only took a month or so to be someone you used to know. You didn't really have to go, but you did. And I've never been a somber soul, but part of me ain't here. Trying to find him ever since. The verse ends on the G chord, and then we go back to the C to start the chorus. And in the chorus, we're going to do that same walk down, but then after our F chord, we're going to go to the D minor, and we're going to go four, three, two, four, one, four for that D minor before going to the G. So here's how we play the chorus. So now I take my whiskey sour, sitting bar side after hours, thinking how can I get over if the love was never ours? Hell, I know you got my message, all my X's and my O's, and it kills me by the hour. Now I take my whiskey sours alone. And if you want, there at the end of the chorus, we can go from the F chord. Then you can walk down to the D minor. So we're just going from the third fret on the fourth string to the second fret before going to the D minor. And it kills me by the hour Now I take my whiskey sours alone So you can do that walk down there at the end if you want. Now I'm going to show you how we would do the strumming. If you want to strum, I'm going to strum this next verse. And I'll be doing down, down, up, down, down, up. That one night under neon was the first time you ordered me. And you told me that you loved me, but was it ever true? Cause your promises were empty. Now I'm drinking one too many. Down and out the memory. Sour, sitting bar side after hours. Then we play through the chorus one more time, and then we have our bridge. So our bridge is going to start on the A minor chord. And I don't know why I do it. It's supposed to help me through it, but it's harder when it always tastes like you. Every time I hit rock bottom, I don't know what I should do. Should I call you up again or should I settle for round two? And in the bridge, you can do the same thing you did at the end of the chorus. You can go from the F, then you can walk down to the D minor. Should I call you up again?
Then we play through the chorus again, and then we finish up the song. It's time to play through the full thing. Play along with me here and leave a comment. Let me know if you were able to get through the full thing with me. Now I take my whiskey sour 